Just Hi. Tell, tell, tell your name um, and that you give us permission to share this. Yeah. Hi, I'm Craig Amador. Um, I live here in Corvallis and I give Mike full permission to use this video. Um, let's see. My family moved here in 2017 when my mom remarried my stepdad, John. Um, John was an amazing, lovely man, and he had Parkinson's since his 30s. He was dealing with Parkinson's for about 20, 30 years, up to the point before we decided to move. He's a very successful man, he's a really hard worker, and he ended up being a successful contractor and working a lot to make sure that he had the money saved up to take care of his health. You know, Parkinson's is something very debilitating and it's something that people live with on a daily basis. And his family did a really good job of supporting him. We did a really good job of supporting him. Just, and working to financially secure his future was something that was on the forefront of his mind on a regular basis. Um, he ended up passing away in November, sadly, um, due to complications from his Parkinson's. But at the point in time, uh, we were starting to run short on money to take care of his um, disability. We were looking for options to like either take care of him in a home, but that ended up being like, oh my goodness, I think it was like 2,500 a day or something. It's just incredibly expensive to, to have him around and be a part of the family. And or else we'd have to send him off to a assisted living facility. And Medicare wasn't being helpful at all in this or whatever insurance we had at the moment. Um, he ended up, he ended up passing away in November. Um, and we were very lucky that we didn't have to spend as much time worrying about medical expenses. And we got to spend more time sharing his time and life with him because he is a much more positive story than a lot of the stories that are out there. I mean, I have lots of other family members who experience other medical issues and expenses are just a part of our daily life. Uh, my aunt has MS and find, and, and she's currently um, living off of the insurance of someone else that hasn't been in our family for years. And I have a, I have a friend in high school whose father couldn't afford their antipsychotic medication and ended up killing himself back in 2019. Um, it's tragic that we live in one of the wealthiest nations in the world and yet we still find it hard to cover basic medical expenses. I just looked it up on my phone right now, right before this. In 2022, 47% of Americans polled in a poll could not afford a $500 emergency expense. That's a 50% chance that you behind the screen right there could not afford an accident to you if it happened. And frankly, I find it un-American that we live in a society where we don't have the freedom to live our life the way we want to. And I think that the freedom from medical debt brought onto us by insurance providers who are justifying their own existence is not a good enough reason for our loved ones to suffer. And for the loved ones of those loved ones to pay for it for the rest of their lives. So my name is Craig. Thank you for listening. And I hope you consider a single payer healthcare system. Thanks, Craig.